Appreciate the brutal downfall of better Twitch TV. Yeah, but of Twitch, there's been one extension that millions of viewers and streamers alike flocked to. An extension that allowed you to create a better chat experience for your stream. You serve zero purpose. What the fuck was that kid watching? You should treat yourself now. Love yourself. I mean that with 100% with 1000%. With custom emotes, <laughs> animated emotes, and various in-depth settings that weren't present on Twitch at the time. Being able to be downloaded to every major browser, Better TTV was the Twitch extension everyone used and loved for years. The developers who created Nightbot put together Better TTV, and at the time, it was something quite unique. While I believe Franker Phase Z was released around the same time, to this day, FFZ is still like the middle child in terms of emote extensions. Better TTV, or BTTV, rain. I sort of disagree with that, just because if you get FFZ, you can uh, install the other ones as add-ons. So on my browser now, I only have FFZ, and then I add 7TV and BTTV through that. So FFZ is crucial, but as far as FFZ emotes go, he's absolutely right. And Supreme with that no- That wasn't the case in the beginning, true. ...board of competition. And I mean, why would they have any? It's a Twitch emote extension. You use it to get the silly little frog in Oral your chat, shot. and that's really its sole purpose. Surely there wouldn't be any drama to a Chrome extension. January 6th, 2021 would be a huge day for the Twitch community for all the wrong reasons. The face of the PogChamp emote, Gutex, shared his opinion on the riot at the US Capitol. I know this just went 0 to 100 in one sentence, but this was the reason why he was removed as the face of the emote on Twitch. Now this is where I believe the very, very beginning of the end for Better TTV started, as in reaction to Twitch removing the emote, Franker Z removed every PogChamp emote variant. Basically any imagery with Gutex's face in it was off their extension. Besides Pog, that one stayed. With Better TTV saying that they will not be removing any Pog emotes. In general, Better TTV has never removed emotes due to controversies and likely won't as a result of this behavior. Users have the ability of choice on our platform. In retrospect, this was the right choice for Better TTV because during this time, all the big streamers wanted to seem like they were doing a big service to the streaming community by changing their PogChamp emotes to something different, only for them to all flip back to using Gutex emotes like four months later. But that statement they released would also backfire on them because in February of 2021, Better TTV decided to remove the emote <laughs> Zulo off their website. Now this one I definitely agree should have been removed. I mean, f look at it, man. After its removal, it was promptly replaced with a new Zulo. Well, but because know. of that, something in the dark depths was cooking. Something was brewing. <laughs> In the spring of 2021, a new extension would be making the rounds around smaller streamers' chats, 7TV. In reaction to the emotes Better TTV was removing, this extension was created. Now, the big deal about this unknown 7TV at the time was its impressive 200 base emote slots at launch. It seemed like such a no-brainer to swap. Really thinking about it now, I seriously cannot believe Better TTV was able to. Swap. I only I only recently canceled my subscription to BTTV. Fuck, man. I spent I I had that running for a long time. You got what five extra emotes for it or something, and you got to use a few personal emotes. But like. Way back, that was actually a big thing. But now, with today's standards and 7TV, it's like, feels like a scam. TV was able to swindle people out of five bucks a month for absolutely nothing in return. Like, one to two slots you would get, and then it would max out. Oh, I robbed you, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I robbed you, gang. Yeah, I had a long... The longer your payment streak was, the more extra emote you got in your chat. What was the default? Does anyone remember? Way back when. Um, BTTV was new. How many custom emotes could you add? 15? It was actually like a big, it was a big thing to be like, which BTTV emotes do we want to use? We can't use them all. Nowadays, we're so spoiled. What's up? Daddy Nan, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I hope that was worth the $3 for you, Anonymous. Thank you.
interesting features 7TV brought to the table, like zero width emotes, allowing you to stack emotes on top of each other and name paints for further customizability in chat rooms. And that was enough to convince quite a lot of people. To I down want a custom name paint for being a uh, early adopter and cool guy. Oh, the extension. 7TV. The problem with the extension at launch was truly it didn't take itself too seriously. Causing I mean, some no. questionable emotes to be plastered all over the website or hidden private emotes. Right. Only visible it was bad in the start, I remember. The profile. There was so much potential for this extension to take off and be better. I than didn't do any of that early adoptment. And Ado extension adoptment? available. And after Adopting. some criticism, they took it to heart because they got to work almost immediately fixing the emote issues and moderation problems. Slowly but surely, the number of users on the website began to grow. And it grew enough to where it was time to start getting emote integration. But Forsen doesn't like it, so that means I don't like it. On the other extensions. Emote integration allows users to install only one of the main emote extensions, but will still be able to see all three of the extension's emotes, regardless of what you have installed on your browser. This is where things get funky. Frankerface Z, they easily got the integration. Now, for better TTV. In various chats, 7TV users were asking better TTV devs about <laughs> emote integration. This could be chalked up to just general shit talk and it wasn't directly from the creator night, but a few staff members were pretending they didn't know what 7TV was, which doesn't make sense considering they are better TTV staff members. Like you would think you would know or catch wind of the new extension that everyone is talking about. On October 9th, 2022, this little Twitter thread would be the start of a little tiny beef between the creator of better TTV night and the creator of 7TV, Anatole. Why the motes are finally here. You can now upload emotes with up to three times more width from your dashboard. Dead app, 7TV on top. Yeah, but 7TV is taking yeah, away but too much information about you and your viewers. So I would not recommend <laughs> to use 7TV. From what I've heard, they Don't have take my informations. bots which sit in all the Twitch chat collecting data. And when the bots get banned, it rejoins on a different account, i.e. you can't get rid of it. Dude. Oh my God, it could be any of you guys in here. It could be that guy. It could be this guy. It could even be me. Your extension has an option to see the chat while banned. A bot rejoining on Anon is no different. Speak about unethical, while your service literally demands to pay hundreds of dollars for emote slots. Later that oh, same you month, tell him, at all. was now a deleted promotional tweet from Twitch. Knight would be seen under that tweet throwing more shade at 7TV. This sure looks like ban evasion to me which is definitely against the at Twitch community guidelines. It's surprising Twitch streamers slash viewers continue to promote in chat. TV given their unethical practices. This response is not what you'd expect from a company Anatole, acting Anatole, where's my custom intent. name paint? Now all this shit talk only ever started once 7TV began to become a real threat financially to better TTV. What up, Plunky? That's when Knight started this little campaign to shit talk, and I'm sure he thought it would go amazing. I mean, he created better TTV. He must have all the Twitch OGs by his side. He ended up nuking his whole Twitter Wait, page. what's this picture? Have I seen this picture? Better TTV, he must have all They got all the emotes together. Well, I don't know all of them. Swift Rage? Oh, Resident Sleeper. Wait, he looks really good here. He's got a nice tan. I don't know. I don't know which one this is. I don't know what that is either. Try hard. And then can't remember this one. Kappa, of course. Hey, guys. I think that might be Dad Sheffy out of frame here. Yeah, actually, it says Sheffy right here. Ah, it's uh, my avatar. No, BC. It's BC Warrior. What's this one to the left? Another thing. The thing? Which I remember. The thing I used to watch is a guy called In Control. He used to play StarCraft 2. He was one of the OG streamers back in like the early, early streaming days. Passed away, sadly. Unsane is the name of this guy. All the Twitch OGs by his side. He ended up nuking his whole Twitter page and has been extremely silent since this encounter up hmm. until January 18th of 2023. A huge, massive gargantuan update for better TTV dropped. I am not exaggerating when I tell you this. One to one, bar for bar, they stole every single feature that made <laughs> 7TV unique. Oh wow! Loyalty badges, larger emote slots, emote renaming, and they changed their logo to a scuffed ass Face Punch Studios logo. The most interesting addition though was, what's this? 7TV support, has it finally happened? Have all the- Oh wait, that's a thing? Because I was thinking it to myself, like, hmm, none of the normies seem confused anymore about 7TV emotes. Has everyone just installed 7TV? Oh, that's why. They carried it over. Has it finally happened? Have all the emote extensions made peace, and we can finally live happily ever after? How many clips well, of when taking the 7TV box, 
you are met with a very backhanded message disguised as a very heartfelt warning from what I can't help but assume was written by Night Message. This extension has been flagged by the community for its poor moderation standards. Content from this extension is not reviewed by BTTV and you may encounter unsavory content. Are you sure you want to proceed? And I told them, what do you have to say for yourself? Disguised as a very heartfelt <laughs> warning from what I can't help but assume was written by Knight himself. Accumulating over 1 million users in almost two years and every big streamer having the extension enabled in their chat, I believe it is safe to say Nem? there is no, a Nem? new king of Twitch emote extensions with consistent updates and an owner who doesn't attempt to burn bridges. Instead, in the past, was hopeful for a world where all extensions could work together. But clearly with that not being possible, 7TV has cemented itself in Twitch history as the first new emote extension to succeed at breaking into the scene and also stir up the Twitch space by expanding on the whole idea of an extension. And for them, it's worked quite well. I don't believe better TTV will ever fully die, but the stunts performed by Knight have truly put a stain on the entire legacy of better TTV. That was a good video. I enjoyed this. I learned a few things that I didn't know. And uh, overall, just good pay. I, I guess he was pretty biased towards 7TV, but I mean, how can't you be? 7TV is dope. Yeah, that was good. I like that.